Hi, welcome everyone from building personnel careers to manufacturing made in Nigeria drones. Proforce joins a lot of companies that are doing the unthinkable. Unthinkable in the sense that many can't believe that these types of products that used to be exclusively manufactured in Western countries and Asia can now be manufactured in Nigeria. Nigeria is overflowing with human resources, that's why many Nigerians, especially those living and working abroad, excel in their different disciplines. Proforce just signed a partnership agreement with a French company, Air Access, to start the production of drones in Nigeria. This is coming at a time when Nigeria is facing some defense challenges, so a market exists for these drones in Nigeria that's why they want to take advantage. This was exactly the same way they took advantage a few years ago when many people were importing armored personnel carriers. They quickly set up shop and filled the void. Since then, they've been growing stronger and getting into new markets. Nigerian-made personnel carriers are exported to many African countries like Niger, Chad, Rwanda, Sudan, just to mention a few in Africa, even the United Nations also bought equipment from Nigeria. Now to the big one, Belarusian officials came all the way from Europe to Nigeria to other personnel carriers that are made in Nigeria. In fact, the guys at Proforce have made Nigeria a huge player, not only in Sub-Saharan Africa, they are now entering the European market. Of course, the quality of their products don't seem to be lacking. If not, the United Nations won't be among their clients. The Belarusian deal also shows that their products are price competitive. This is the moment that all Nigerians should be proud of. It shows that despite whatever is happening right now and around us, that good things like this can still happen. This is the time to subscribe to our channel if you haven't and enable notification. Thanks. The good news continues to another Nigerian-owned vehicle assembly plant, Nord Motors. They recently announced that they will begin manufacturing a majority of their vehicle parts in Nigeria. Right now, Nord Motors imports knockdown vehicles and assembles them in Nigeria. But that will change with investments and expansion they will undertake in the next 10 years. This is a welcome development. The more manufacturing that is done in Nigeria, the more employment is created and the more taxes the government can earn. From Nord Motors to the new Dangote Pojo Automobile Assembly Plant in Kaduna, the newly built Greenfield Assembly Plant has a capacity of 120 vehicles per day. This plant brings back memories of when Pojo cars dominated the Nigerian market in the 70s and 80s. The plant is jointly owned by Dangote Industries, Kaduna State and KB State. They also have the Stellantis Group, the parent company of Pojo, as a technical partner. Also, good news is coming from Innocent, having been made the official car of the government of Anambra State. The company is expanding and gaining market share beyond Nigeria. Innocent is building a new automated vehicle plant in Imo State. This plant will target the export market and being in Imo State, it's nearer to Port Harcourt seaports, which will enable them move the vehicles to the seaport faster for export to African countries. The Nigerian market has not even been tapped 5% and they are already looking for exports. Why that might end in foreign currency, they need to focus on the huge Nigerian market. The Nigerian market has a potential of up to 300,000 cars per annum. This is huge and it can keep many vehicle assembly plants busy around the clock if the vehicles are affordable. Why haven't someone designed a brand new car that will cost 2 million naira? One man did it in India. What's his name again? Mihandra. 
he designed an affordable brand new car that cost $2,500 for the Indian market. Why have no one done that in Nigeria? Can you guys look into the mass market where more money can be made and stop making cars only big men can afford? Isn't making more sales better even if it comes with low margins? Why is the price of most Nigerian main cars not aligned with the average wage? Are the manufacturers comfortable with serving less than 10% of the Nigerian market? Too many questions and no answers. What I mentioned is the innovation that is going on in the Northeast, where they are converting minivans with internal combustion engines to electric, and the impact is already being felt in the communities in the Northeast as transport fares are down 50%. Fueling vehicles in cities that are too far away from legal sports can be expensive. Nigeria is a global player in the oil and gas industry, but continues to import nearly 100% of the petrol that it needs. And transporting them from Lagos ports to the north and even the southeast increases the cost per liter. Now, let's get back to the price of certain products in Nigeria. Some of them are way too expensive because of lack of competition. Just like this water dispenser bottle, there is no reason in the world that justifies the selling of 18 liters of water for 750 naira. Yes, they have to do deliveries, they have to buy diesel to run generators to pump the water, they also probably need to buy imported water treatment but it still doesn't justify the price. This is water. They just pump it out of the ground for free. Many people are capitalizing on the weak exchange rate to raise the price of their products, even on products that are 100% manufactured in Nigeria. We need more competition to drive the price of goods down. More competition will make people to take advantage of inefficiencies that manufacturers push over to customers which ultimately makes the cost of products expensive. Sometimes companies intentionally raise prices because of lack of competition. Remember when there wasn't per second billion in the Nigerian mobile communications industry? It was because some people felt they had a monopoly or duopoly so they can fix whatever price they want and people must pay. But immediately, the duopoly was broken, competition made it possible for per second billing to start and has been the mode of billing till today. Consumers should start boycotting products that they think are overly expensive. If the manufacturer experiences low sales, they will be forced to make their products more affordable. This was exactly how the Chinese became the world's factory. They took advantage of their cheap labor. The question is, why are people not taking advantage of Nigeria's cheap labor? Manufacturers are quick to list all the reasons that manufacturing in Nigeria is difficult. While some obstacles exist, they are still not the only reason products are expensive. Even running a small-scale manufacturing on diesel generators can still guarantee profitability. Innocent did it. He ran his vehicle plant on generators for many years because of the outrageous estimated bills from Enugu Disco. While having a stable power supply is essential for manufacturing to grow, it's not the only factor stopping small-scale manufacturing from taking advantage of the huge Nigerian economic potentials. The main factor is the lack of technical know-how. People who have money don't have technical knowledge about the products they can manufacture. The people who have technical knowledge can access the required finance to fund the project. What's the solution? It's very simple. Banks, including the central bank, should support people with technical knowledge to go into small-scale manufacturing. That way, they can concentrate on manufacturing products already sold in the local markets. This will bring the required competition to the Nigerian market. It will drive down the cost of many products that are expensive because the few manufacturers don't have competition. Stiff competition is needed in every sector in Nigeria to drive down the cost of living. 
Look at the housing sector. Granted, building materials are expensive right now, but building a house is meant for posterity, not for immediate profit. Even abroad, homes financed by banks are spread over many years, sometimes up to 35 years for repayment. They don't expect you to repay the loan within five years when they know the average wage in the country. In Nigeria, many landlords take advantage of the lack of competition in the housing sector to demand outrageous rents and all sorts of fees from prospective tenants. The government is not helping matters here. Forget about capitalism, many European countries all build and continues to build mass housing units for their citizens. The Nigerian government should have a plan to save the housing industry from greedy businessmen. They have to build more than 2 million homes within 10 years, so there can be surplus of homes flooding the housing market, which will ultimately drive down the cost of rent. Right now in Lagos, there are a few decent studio apartments that could be gotten for 150,000 naira per annum. How can someone earning less than 40,000 per month afford it? A house is a lifetime investment, so why would landlords want to recoup their investment within the shortest possible time? It's not their fault though, because there's no competition. If there is competition and a lot of homes are empty, landlords will become desperate. But that's not the case right now. The people who are desperate for homes are helpless citizens who have no choice but to spend their entire salary on rent alone. No savings for healthcare, future home, a car, or even towards retirement. Politicians who practice what they preach by buying made in Nigeria products, from cars and other office products to vacations and healthcare. All the foreign exchange required for these avoidable purchases can actually be spent on machineries that many industries need that are not yet manufactured in Nigeria. How many times have foreign leaders come to Nigeria on vacation? With all the beautiful landscapes across Nigeria, coupled with a nice weather, Nigeria is the ultimate tourist destination. All right, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and enable notification. Till next time. Bye-bye.